Cocaine? Hello. So we got ourselves a little problem. The ground that we store our feet on in long ag bags is a little bit muddy, almost too muddy to get in there and, and drive the trucks and, and operate the machine. So I heard if you put lime down on mud, it'll dry it up. So that's what we're trying. Clayton is sick of it, so that's why he just murdered that last bag there. This stuff is so dry. It just sucks every bit of moisture out of your hands and it's chalky. It's also very, very dusty. We're dumping it into the manure spreader so we can spread it across that ground to dry it out and it just blows out. This technique is used at construction sites to get across um, muddy driveways or to start working on a new house or something. And it's nothing we've ever tried before, but I was desperate. We needed to get on this ground and it was muddy. So Clayton's uh, spreading it with our manure spreader now and it looks just like he's making a cloud. The cloud, the cloudy sky was beautiful and he just kind of added to it by making some more ground clouds. But I wasn't sure if this was gonna work, but it's kind of like if you're making cookies or something and you make the mix too, too wet, a little bit of flour and it'll, it'll make it the right moisture. Kind of like making cement too. If you're making concrete, um, if you get it too wet, just put a little bit of powder back in it and now it gets it to the right the firmness. In. Is this all for nothing? Is it futile? Too soon to tell. Looks like snow over here. It's actually, it's actually working really well. Kind of impressed. It's tightening right up. You're getting nice and firm. You let it sit overnight, and now we're hitting it again the next day. So I'm day. packing this field for the last time. Where we're going to be putting the bags here in an hour or so before the sun comes up. I'm hoping that's going to be dry enough. We don't have a problem. All that lime that we put on sure didn't hurt. Um, but we'll see if it worked. I feel like a football player walking the field before a big game or a NASCAR driver walking the track just kind of checking it out still still a little questionable but hopeful success it actually worked you can see here the tires are right up on top this is a very heavy machine with little tires and it will cut into the mud very fast but it's not at all and you can see here we got the battery replaced, the one that was smoking yesterday. Right here there was one other wet spot because all the tractors are driving through it and I put just a couple bags dumped straight on the, on the muddy spot. So the tires are kind of working to get in. And it does, it does dry up. So the rumors are true, the, uh, the technique works. Now back to work, we're firing up this machine and getting unloaded. This whole process takes, mm, this is a bigger wagon. This might take two, two and a half minutes. So it looks like we got about a hundred feet on this bag and we got 400 feet left to go. Mm -hmm. 